this lecture is on the stability of dynamical systems. So, in the previous lecture we have seen how to write the dynamic equation of a robot manipulator. So, we have seen that uh, the dynamic equation can be written as m q double dot plus c q q dot plus g of q equal to tau where q is a vector contains q 1, q 2, q n. These are the joint uh, variables and uh, m is the inertia matrix n cross n matrix etcetera. Now, uh, from this we can see that this can be written as n second order ordinary differential equation uh, because it contains the second derivative of q1, q2, qn. Uh, so, we get n second order ordinary differential equation which can be converted into 2n first order ordinary differential equation. So, in that context we can say that this is a dynamical system. So, what is a dynamical system? The definition is any first order differential equation written in this particular form is called a dynamical system. So, uh, here x is a vector, x contains x 1, x 2, x n, they are functions of t and therefore, f also should be a vector f 1, f 2, f n and it is a function of t and x 1, x 2, x n. So, dynamical system containing n first order differential equation is represented by x dot equal to f of t x. So, this can be uh, classified into various types, one is the uh, non autonomous or time varying system. So, that is x dot equal to f of t x here. If t appears explicitly in the equation, then we say that it is time varying and uh, autonomous means it is time invariant. It is x dot equal to f of x where t does not appear explicitly in the given system of equation. See even though the all the systems are varying with respect to time, x is a function of time. So, it is keep on changing, but time varying time invariant is classified only based on whether t appears in the equation explicitly or not. So, for example, here we take x 1 dot equal to 2 x 1 plus 3 x 2, x 2 dot is this. So, this is simply time invariant system or autonomous system. So, this is another autonomous system. We can also classify it as linear because the right hand side functions are simply linear functions and it can be classified as non-linear because here the, the right hand side we have non-linear expressions like the product of the variables or if square of the variables etcetera appears in the uh, function f of t x then it is called a non-linear system. So, let us consider a system of this form. The equilibrium point of a system is defined as the point at which f of t x equal to 0 for all t value. So, x e the point is called a equilibrium point if f of t x suffix e here is equal to 0 for all t. That means, that x dot becomes 0 at the point x equal to x e 
in other words the point x x e it does not move as a function of time once the uh, solution is at the point x e then it will not move further because uh, x dot the velocity is 0. So, the previous example if you see that if you equate the right hand side to 0 the 2 x 1 plus 3 x 2 is 0 and x 1 minus x 2 is 0 and if you solve we will get a 0 comma 0 as the solution. In the second case if you equate the right hand side to 0 we get uh, uh, 0 0 as one solution and 1 by 2 1 as another. So, there are two equilibrium points for the system. So, in general for a given dynamical system there can be several uh, equilibrium points. Now, for example, consider the equation of the pendulum, simple pendulum uh, with length L and mass m. So, we have already seen a, the dynamic equation of a pendulum can be written like this, where theta is measured from the downward vertical line uh, to the pendulum itself. This is the angle theta. So, m L theta double dot plus m g L sin theta equal to 0 is the equation of motion of this pendulum. So, this can be converted into two first order differential equation putting x 1 equal to theta and x 2 is theta dot the angle, angle and angular velocity these are the two variables x 1 and x 2. We will get x 1 dot is equal to x 2 and x 2 dot it means theta double dot is given by uh, minus m g by m l into sin theta. So, from this second from the equation itself we can get the theta double dot that becomes the right hand side of the second equation. So, this is uh, the system of equation uh, which falls in the definition of a dynamical system. Now, if we equate the right hand side to 0, we get x 2 is equal to 0 and sin x 1 is equal to 0 or x 1 is nothing but n into pi for different values of n. So, these are the uh, various positions which we obtain. For example, when uh, n equal to 0 that means, uh, theta x 1 is 0 and x 2 is 0, x 1 is theta, x 2 is theta dot. So, it means that the pendulum is in this particular position uh, and the velocity is also 0, it will not move from this position. When n equal to 1, it means it is pi theta is pi and velocity is 0. So, it means the pendulum will be moving pointing upward direction the angle is pi here and for 2 again it comes to the same position and uh, it stays at this position with uh, 0 velocity etcetera. So, we can see that n pi is the angle and the 0 is the angular velocity. So, these positions are called the equilibrium positions. So, in general if we say uh, autonomous system that is time invariant, then uh, the point x e is said to be the equilibrium point if f of x e equal to 0. Now, the definition the uh, equilibrium points can be stable or unstable or asymptotically stable. So, for example, if uh, we consider a system, this example if we take, if there is a uh, vessel of this type and a ball is there, then if we disturb this, it will oscillate for some time and then come back to this stop at this point. So, here we can say that it is asymptotically stable if it stops, if it keep on uh, moving from left to right in this way 
then it is only stable. Similarly, if you take this point here it is the equilibrium point, it can stay at this place, but if you slightly disturb it, it will never come back to the same point. So, we can say that it is unstable, this situation is unstable. So, this we can say that it is stable and so in general for a dynamical system, for example, if we consider a system like this x 1 dot and x 2 dot system, it has two variables x 1 is a variable and x 2 is another variable and if it take the equilibrium point is 0 comma 0 for this system. Now, if we disturb this equilibrium point and take a initial condition as let us say x 1 0 and x 2 0 as initial condition uh, and solve this equation, then we will get a for different value of t, we will get x 1 of t and x 2 of t. because x 1 and x 2 are function of t, we solve this uh, equation as usual uh, as we solve a dynamical system. Then we get a expression for x 1 of t and x 2 of t, which will give a curve in the x 1, x 2 axis. So, this is called the phase space diagram. when we solve a, a system of uh, a dynamical system and then plot it in the uh, variable in the space x 1 x 2 space it is called this phase space diagram and so if this solution is always within a bounded region for all values of t then it is called stable but if the solution it comes as t tends to infinity if it reaches the, the if the limiting point is 0 comma 0 then that point 0 0 is called asymptotically stable and uh, unstable means for a given initial condition if the solution x of t it goes away to infinity then it is called unstable situation so uh, for a given dynamical system, we can easily analyze whether it is stable or unstable or asymptotically stable by using various techniques. So, in this uh, lecture, we will not analyze uh, or uh, show all the procedures for finding the stability of the system, but we will concentrate on only one type of procedure that is called the Lyapunov theory. So, here the definition of the stability, the stability is the equilibrium point x e is said to be stable if for any epsilon there exists a delta such that if you take a initial condition x at time t naught very close to x e that is uh, uh, the distance between the x e point and the initial point is less than delta, then the solution x of t the so, for all t is at a epsilon distance from x e. So, the meaning is if you take a equilibrium point x e, then if epsilon is given, a radius epsilon is given, uh, center is the equilibrium point and radius of the circle is epsilon. Then we can find a delta, so we can find another circle around this equilibrium point with the delta radius such that whenever we take a initial condition within this delta circle and solve the system of equation, we get the solution 
always inside the epsilon circle. X of t minus x e it is uh, modulus the distance between the uh, point x t and x e is less than epsilon. So, it is always inside this. It means that the solution will not go away from the equilibrium point for any time t. It is called asymptotically stable if it is stable that previous definition in addition to that if limit t tends to infinity of x t it approaches the point the limiting point is x e and it is unstable if it goes away from the equilibrium point x e that is the distance between x t and x e keep on increasing as t increases and uh, uh, then it is called unstable. So, now we will come to the Lyapunov method. We consider the autonomous system, the time invariant system and we assume that f of 0 equal to 0. That means, 0 x equal to 0 is the equilibrium point. So, to analyze whether the equilibrium point is stable or unstable or asymptotically stable, we use this following theorem, the Lyapunov function. What is a Lyapunov function? It is a function, v is a function of the variables x1, x2, xn, where because we know that x is a vector uh, in the dynamical system containing x1, x2, xn. So, v is a function of x1, x2, xn and its partial derivative that is del v by del x i for all i, they are all continuous functions and it satisfies the positive definite condition that is at 0, v at 0, 0, etcetera, 0, the value is 0, it is a real valued function. First thing is x is a vector, but v of x is a real value. So, v of 0 is 0 and v of any other point x1, x2, xn, it is positive whenever it is not the origin. So, v of x is 0 only at x equal to 0. So, it uh, this may be for all value of x or it may be for a neighborhood of the point 0 that is uh, in, in a, a circle of radius k if this property is there, then also we can take that function. Now, the derivative of v with respect to t. So, dv by dt uh, using chain rule, it can be written as del v by del x 1 into x 1 dot etcetera. This and x 1 dot is f 1, x 2 dot is f 2 etcetera. Now, uh, we see that there is a relation between the v function and the dynamical system. So, through this chain rule because x i dot is f i is used here. So, the uh, derivative d v by d t that should be negative semi definite. Negative semi definite means uh, positive definite means uh, it is 0 at 0 and it is positive for all other point x. Negative definite means uh, the function is 0 at 0 and it should be strictly negative uh, for all other points. Negative semi definite means it is it should be 0 at the point 0 and it is less than or equal to 0 for all other points. So, uh, when x is not equal to 0, the function v dot x may be 0 also for some non zero points. So, such a function is called a Lyapunov function. If you are able to find this type of function, that function is called a Lyapunov function. So, the theorem says that if a Lyapunov function exists, then the state uh, the equilibrium point x equal to 0 is stable. This is given here. In other words, the trivial solution x equal to 0, the equilibrium point x equal to 0 is stable. 
the point x equal to 0 is called a trivial solution because it uh, directly satisfies the given equation. If I put x equal to 0, uh, it satisfies both sides the derivative and f of 0 is 0. So, x equal to 0 is the uh, trivial solution for the system. Now, if uh, the condition 2, if it is if the condition is replaced, this condition is replaced by negative definite instead of uh, negative semi definite, if you write negative definite, it means dv by dt is strictly negative less than 0 whenever x is not equal to 0, then the system is asymptotically stable. So, this uh, statements uh, is very useful in analyzing various uh, problems. Uh, for example, here if you consider a dynamical system of this form m l square theta double dot plus m g l sin theta plus b theta dot equal to 0. So, this is also the equation of a simple pendulum, but here the friction air friction etcetera, uh, the damping term is taken into account. It is written as b theta dot for some constant b. So, it is a rough mathematical model of a damped uh, pendulum, simple pendulum. So, this is converted into two first order equation x 1 equal to theta x 2 equal to theta dot. So, we can easily see that x 1 dot is x 2, x 2 dot is this and if you equate the right hand side to 0, we get 0, 0 is the equilibrium point because first we put x 2 equal to 0, then we get uh, sin x 1 equal to 0. So, x 0, 0 is a equilibrium point. So, now if you put a particular value for m and l, these are uh, constant, then we get a simple equation like this and so <coughs> see here in addition to 0, 0, there are several other equilibrium points, but we restrict ourselves to 0, 0 only that is 0, 0 as we have already seen we can have pi comma 0, 2 pi comma 0, all of them are equilibrium point, but in a neighborhood let us say a small radius uh, less than pi if you take in that uh, neighborhood we can get a Lyapunov function like this. So, if you consider because according to the previous theorem, if you are able to find a Lyapunov function satisfying the properties, it is stable, asymptotically stable, etcetera. So, uh, let us try to find a Lyapunov function. Let V be a function of x1, x2 given by this expression alpha times 1 minus cos x1 plus beta times x2 square alpha beta are positive numbers. So, it is a positive definite function provided x 1 is a uh, small value, okay. it, sh it should not be equal to uh, this thing pi here, we, we have seen that. So, if you take uh, x 1 less than pi by 2, so if x 1 is pi by 2 obviously 1 minus 1 is 0, we do not want such situation, it should be always positive because v should be a positive definite function. So, both the terms should be a positive value. So, if x 1 modulus of x 1 is less than pi by 2, if you take any value uh, in that neighborhood of 0, 0, a radius of less than pi by 2, we get always the va value of v to be strictly greater than 0. And if you differentiate with respect to t, we get the second term uh, alpha times cos x, we get the, the derivative is sin x 1 into d x 1 by d t that is x 2. Here 2 times beta x 2 into x 2 dot, x 2 dot is given by this. So, now if you collect the terms, finally we get this expression x 2 into sin 
x 1 of this quantity multiplied by alpha times this is a different uh, minus 2 beta times b x 2 square. So, now if we select this uh, term alpha because alpha and beta we can easily select to be 2 positive values. So, if alpha equal to 2 beta this term is becoming 0 and the term second term is always negative value. Okay. So, we get v dot is less than or equal to 0. Now, if x 2 is 0, x 2 dot is also 0. If x 2 equal to 0, x 2 dot will be equal to 0. So, that will automatically imply that sin x 1 is 0, that will imply x 1 is also equal to 0. So, v dot is strictly less than 0. We will get v dot is equal to 0 only when x 1 and x 2 both are equal to 0 and v dot is strictly less than 0 if we take alpha equal to 2 beta and beta greater than 0 and x 2 is not equal to 0. So, uh, it implies that the system is asymptotically stable, the, uh, the damped pendulum is asymptotically stable. In other words, uh, the oscillation will finally stop to the point 0, 0 as t becomes larger and larger. So, that is the meaning of physical meaning of this expression. So, similarly, we consider the controlled damped pendulum. So, we have a pendulum. In the previous example, this tau is not there. It was 0, but here we have the torque applied at this joint. So, uh, with this torque as well as with the force of gravity, the pendulum is moving. So, we can consider this as a single arm robot manipulator, one arm manipulator. There is only one link here, one joint. So, uh, this is the dynamic equation of the one arm manipulator or we can also call it as controlled pendulum. Now, converting it into uh, the two first order differential equation x 1 dot is x 2, x 2 dot is as usual x 1 means theta, x 2 means theta dot. We get this expression and for this constant value we get this. Now, the question is how to find this torque because torque is not given uh, to us and there is no equilibrium point also here because we do not know what is tau. We want to find a control for a specific problem. So, what is that specific problem? If tau is not there, then automatically the equilibrium point is 0, 0 or uh, n pi comma 0 etcetera. But if tau is there, we can fix a target. We, for example, let us assume that we want to stop the pendulum in this particular position. That is, uh, the pendulum angle should be 45 degrees pi by 4 and the velocity should be 0. So, we want to stop the pendulum or the single arm manipulator at this particular position. So, uh, it becomes the equilibrium point in that case because what is equilibrium point? A point where the system stops uh, with 0 velocity, it, it never moves afterwards. So, uh, the pi by 4 is the angle and then 0 is the velocity means we want to stop the pendulum at this position. For that, what should be the torque applied on the pendulum? to fix it constantly at this position. So, now we can calculate the error. If x is x of t is the desired, uh, if the current position when the pendulum is moving and x desired is this position, we want to stop it here, then the error at any time t is x of t minus x d desired this vector. So, now if you differentiate with respect to t, x of t is x dot yes, 
Now, we can get uh, uh, because there are two components for this vector x, we call the first component as x 1 minus x 1 desired is this and second component is x 2 minus x 2 desired is 0. So, it is simply x 2 itself. So, we get the equation E 1 dot equal to E 2 from the previous thing and E 2 dot is given by this one. Now, how to find the torque? We want to get E 1 equal to 0 and E 2 equal to 0 that is our aim. So, that means 0 0 is the equilibrium point for this system we want to find. So, uh, what is the suitable control or what is the suitable torque to be applied? For that let us assume a Lyapunov function we are selecting a Lyapunov function v equal to alpha e 1 square plus e 2 square. So, here we note that Lyapunov function there is no uh, particular procedure for finding a Lyapunov function mostly it is a trial and error method or uh, in very few situations we have a standard procedure uh, which can be studied in a dynamical system uh, course. So, here we are trying with a function like this alpha e 1 square plus e 2 square because uh, if alpha is positive it is a positive definite function always uh, it is 0 only at e 1 and e 2 0 and it is always positive uh, if uh, alpha is greater than 0. Now, the derivative is given by 2 alpha e 1 and e 1 dot is e 2 and its derivative is 2 e 2 e 2 dot is given by this expression. So, if you select this tau in such a way that uh, it cancels out all the non-linear terms. Here we can see that if tau can be selected as uh, this term plus this term, it will cancel out some uh, at least this term g times this one and b times theta 2. So, here it is selected like this tau is selected as uh, minus alpha times E 1 plus g times sin E 1 plus pi by 4 is not it. So, if you substitute it here we will get V dot is equal to the first term is already 2 alpha E 1 E 2 that is here and uh, when we substitute this tau in this place the g etcetera will get cancelled. So, we get 2 e into minus b into e 2. So, we get uh, minus 2 b e 2 square and with the alpha term we will get this one. So, this 2 gets cancelled here we get ultimately v dot equal to minus 2 b e 2 square which is less than or equal to 0. Now, we can easily note that if E 2 is equal to 0, it automatically implies that E 2 dot is 0 and from the equation we get E 1 is also equal to 0. So, V dot will be 0 only at 0 comma 0 and it is always negative if E 2 is non-zero. So, if E 2 is non-zero automatically E 1 is also non-zero because of the proof as given here. So, this shows that the selection of the torque using this formula will make the system asymptotically stable or in other words it will make the pendulum or the one arm manipulator to stop at a desired position uh, as given in the uh, goal here that is we want to stop it at this uh, 45 degree with 0 velocity. So, that can be achieved by uh, giving this much of torque to the pendulum. So, the third example is uh, a simple one again uh, if you consider a uh, equation like this x 1 dot equal to x 2 x 2 dot equal to this this represent a harmonic oscillator if uh, a mass is oscillating from left to right 
uh, uh, motion horizontal uh, motion under a control u and if you are interested in the desired position we want if the length is l here in both sides this is l the length we want to stop that mass at l by 2 and the velocity should be 0 that is the meaning here uh, the position is l by 2 and velocity is 0. So, the mass is moving left and right uh, it is a harmonic oscillator and under this control u we want to stop it here. So, how much of control should be applied on this mass? So, we can write the equation to be the error is actual value minus desired value. So, E 2 the error 2 is actual value x 2 desired value 0. So, this is the error and if you differentiate the error term we get the differential equation in terms of the error like this and uh, if you select this control u in this particular manner uh, as k 1 e 1 minus l e 2 plus alpha times l by 2. So, <coughs> this is again a trial and error method type uh, to see whether this control is working or not. So, if you substitute this control in this equation we get E 1 dot is e equal to E 2, E 2 dot is given by this and now this is a dynamical system uh, there is no the control is already substituted. So, it becomes only in terms of E 1 and E 2. So, we see that this Lyapunov function where k is a variable which we have to select now k is positive that much only we can say if v e 1 e 2 is k e 1 square plus e 2 square it is a positive definite function. It is 0 only at e 1 and e 2 0 and it is always positive. The derivative v dot is given by this expression. So, you can uh, so here there is something wrong this term is not there. So, when we take v dot the derivative we get this expression. So, we get uh, 2 L E 2 square from this expression 2 L E 2 square. So, 2 L E 2 square is this and E 1 E 2 we get 2 k as 1 coefficient and minus 2 k this is k 1 because u is k 1 times. So, minus 2 k 1 is this and minus 2 alpha is this 2 e 1 uh, e 2 e 1 alpha this term is there and then product 2 e 2 here e 2 2 beta times e 2 this bracket is up to this. So, now we see that if you select this 2 times k minus k 1 minus alpha equal to 0 if you make this particular term to be 0 this whole thing goes we get to only minus 2 L e 2 square and here minus 2 beta e 2 square. So, uh, it is negative definite we can see that if you put e 2 equal to 0 e 1 is automatically equal to 0. So, this is strictly less than 0 for all e 1 e 2 not 0 0 and it is 0 only at 0 comma 0. So, v dot is 0 only at 0 comma 0 and it is strictly less than 0 for all other e 1 e 2. So, it is a negative definite this implies that the system is asymptotically stable. So, it means that we can stop this mass at this point using the control u as given here. So, this uh, uh, lecture shows that how we can control uh, certain dynamical systems for a particular goal. Uh, if you fix a goal to the Lyapunov theory can be used for controlling a robot manipulator to perform a particular work. So, that we will see in the uh, coming lectures. Thank you. Thank you.